Angels fled is because of June. She got us out and she stayed behind. Gilead has a way of bringing out the worst in people, but in June it brought out the best. The Handmaid's Tale, Inside Episode 2. Moira's role this season with the children from Angel's Flight is between social worker and friend. I miss my mom and dad. Those people are not your mom and dad, sweetie. Actually seeing these children be free sort of gives you a full understanding of how significant the actions that June took were. Mrs. Gilead sucks for a lot of you. The ones that got ripped from the only families they remember. I guess June didn't think that part through. That's what she does. Moira's arc since the beginning of the show has really been about the fact that she ends up building her life around her relationship with June. It's an endless project to clean up June's messes. When June first meets Mrs. Keys, she underestimates her. She sort of makes the mistake of treating her like a child. As the season goes along, June gradually learns more and more how much Mrs. Keys has had to handle by herself. In the second episode, June finds that Mrs. Keys has been poisoning her commander with Nightshade to make him not a bother, which is just so amazingly brilliant. When did you start doing this? Not soon enough. By protecting her, do you hide her from things, or do you give her the ability to defend herself? She knows that she has to toughen her up. It's not something she would like to do, but it's something that she knows she has to do. Okay. Episode two has an ending that was difficult for us to get to and was more shocking for the audience than it would have been in real life. June lives in a totalitarian state. They catch people. Where are the handmaids? Nick capturing June at the end of 402 is a seismic shift in their dynamic. I'm trying to keep you alive. The only way Nick can protect her is by keeping her close, where he can at least monitor what's happening to her, which I know it sounds crazy, but guess what? Love and Gilead is nuts.